Yes. So um, my first exposure to architecture, my parents were deciding to build a house and they bought plans. And I got a hold of those plans and I could not put them down. Like looking at all the small intricacies, the details and how they did everything. And of course, through my high school career, I was exposed to different kinds of, of, of occupations, either through family or through internships. But I always kept pivoting back to architecture. Yes. And so I decided if I keep coming back to it, it must be something about it. I must have a passion for it. Let me go ahead and see where that takes me. Tell me about your first couple of steps after you graduated. What was it like entering the profession? The first job was intimidating because I didn't know really what to expect. Mm -hmm. We had professional pra practice classes, but there's, it's nothing like what yeah. the real world is. Um, I have been very, very lucky to land in places where I've been um, supported as a, as, a, as a young person to be able to say, oh, you, you know nothing, huh? Come with me. Um, and so there are very, a lot of people that I could name that were very, very helpful as I learned. But I also, again, with the determination to not fail, I'll stay until seven to figure this out. Um, I'll come in on a Saturday and, and figure this out and then have my questions ready on Monday, like ready to go. And so just using that level of oomph, for lack of a better word, <laughs> is, is what kind of propelled me to keep yeah. pushing forward.